Welcome to Featured Works at the Tweed Museum of Art. I'm Bill Shipley, museum educator, and today we look at a sculpture by Patty Warashina. Uh, Warashina, who, born in 1940, from parents who came from Japan, moved to Washington State, and that's a significant date because in uh, 1941, of course, Pearl Harbor was bombed, and there was a good deal of um, disruption of Patty's family. Uh, some went to uh, internment camps uh, in the desert areas. Um, this is a significant piece of Patty Warashina. She's a ceramic artist uh, with quite a long career, starting in the 1960s and teaching in Washington State. Um, this is unlike her other heads because it's not ceramic. It's a cast bronze piece. And my guess is this piece sums up so much of her career as an artist, um, capturing what I like to think of as a self-portrait, but she would say not. But it, it does sort of have the, uh, a totality of her life experience. Uh, the, the piece is titled Bonded Flight, as though there's a bond between the bird and the figure. The essay I wrote on it is called The Fantasy of Flight in the art of Patty Warashina. Um, there's something going on here that's very uh, animated, very intense. The figure in the distortions, the, the sort of pushing or the almost trying to lift off from the base uh, in the gesture of the, of the figure. The bird is an important motif in her work. She's used it a number of times in, uh, in other works. Um, my guess is that a bird because it has the possibility of flight, it has symbolic meaning for her. Uh, we're going to pause and take a look at a, uh, a, a close-up of the, of the work. Now a closer look at Warashina's bonded flight. When I first saw the piece, I was immediately struck by a, uh, almost a, um, an attitude that you see in some Buddhist art, uh, especially Southeast uh, Asian sculptures. There's a, um, there's a calm and a serenity, but also a sense of humor, a sense of at peace with uh, surroundings. Um, through the long career that Warashina has, she's touched on a number of issues of feminist, feminist issues, social concerns. She was influenced a good deal by uh, pop art and commercial art in the 60s and 70s. Uh, this seems to be a work that, that uh, she feels at rest with herself. Um, the spirals of hair actually recall a piece that she did where she's driving a convertible car with her hair springing out behind her in a spiral. Uh, but she claims that she also saw this in uh, Roman sculpture uh, from the uh, uh, early uh, centuries before Christ. Uh, there's a good deal of Roman portraiture uh, that she visited and saw on her, her world travels. Uh, the piece is at home in American art as well. I see a good, uh, a, 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 some similarity to Paul Manship's work. Paul Manship, an art deco sculptor uh, whose work is in the, um, uh, the Rockefeller Plaza in New York City. Um, and that straining or that pushing uh, gesture is something I see in in Manship and also in Warashina's work. Thank you and join us again for another featured works presentation at the Tweed Museum of Art.